Alright, welcome, and this is how I solve the edges for the 5x5. Five five. It's like, just right after finishing center, so let's just say you're on the last two or something, and you just do the last turn. Alright, as soon as I finish that last turn, I basically look for a 2x1, like, semi-pair. But if I don't see it, like, just, like, in the first second, like, basically around the front face, if I don't see it right away, what I basically always do is I just look down to the um, DFR um, edge piece, which is orange-black here. And um, I know it has to be connected with the middle to make um, two semi pairs to start off with, because that's what I want to do, just make um, a quick two by on semi pair to start off with, since I don't see one right away on the front anywhere. Alright, so I basically looked at the DFR edge, and I see it's orange black. And then I scan around for the middle orange black piece to put it up there. So I scan around. I basically, when I look for an edge, I look around the sides here for the color of the edge I'm looking to put on top, because when you slice up, orange will be on you, so you want the orange of orange black to be on you. So I see it's right here, and I uh, blah blah blah. I know the setups with F bring the ones that are on the side on top, and the setups where you just twist it to the top and put it on top. Um, yeah, where you twist it with R and put it on top. When it's on the bottom, one of the outer parts of the right face or the left face, if you're looking at that part. When it's on the outer, you just do R and whatever. But if it's on the side, the color you want on top, then you do F setup. So I'd see that, so I won't put that middle piece up there. And while I'm doing that, I'll look at the piece beside it before I put it up. So I know it's black, blue beside it. It will be on the right. So when I'm putting it up, I know that the next piece I need to find, next middle piece, was blue, black. So right there, I already have my middle edge on top. So before I slice up and pair that, I look for the other middle black blue piece around the sides here. So I don't see it there. I look and it's right up here. So I put it on, I don't like it near the top first. It needs to be down on one of these three parts so you can do setup moves. All right, so now that I have it on the side, I slice up and I remember black's on top. So I do a setup so the black part's on top for when I put it up there. So and then slice back to pair that up. So I paired that semi-pair up, and the orange-black over here. So basically, as soon as I finish my first two semi-pairs, by just, you know, um, I pick one of them, basically the first one I see, and put the block on the side, so I keep slicing up and down with the one that isn't paired yet. So I just put it on the right, and now I slice up and down with this piece the rest of the all. So next one I look for, it's green-red, I look for the middle, middle edge. So basically I look from the sides, green, red, and if it's not there I quickly scan to the other side, and it's right here, green, red. So remember green has to be on top, and it's on the outer part, so I just twist it out and put it up top. And next is green, yellow, so I scan on the side for green, yellow, not on that side, so I look on here, and it's up here. And remember it's on the, it's on the side, it's not on the outer part, because green's on top and you want so you want green to be on top and it's on the side so you do an F setup so when you pair the F setup twist that green yellow piece to the top and when you slice back <coughs> the semi pair over here got paired up green yellow or no green red and then up here green yellow was paired too <coughs> but basically as soon as you finish the next semi pair you look down here red yellow look for the middle red yellow piece now on that side, now it's on the back, sometimes hard to see. So basically when I scan like one side and look for the red, <coughs> I look for any red or yellow color. So say I'd see that, I'd look, I see it not yellow, so I just look for more. Look on the other side, I don't see red or yellow on any of these, so it would have to be on the back. So yeah, I bring it, the red yellow, I bring it up to there. The next is orange yellow, so before I pair it up, I look for the orange yellow middle piece. I looked there because I saw yellow, so I thought that might be orange, but that's not it. And there's no other yellow or orange on either of these middle four parts. So I'd look to the left side and I'd look for yellow orange. There's orange, so I look on the other side, there's yellow, so that's obviously it. <coughs> and it's on the side here, so you're going to do an F setup move again. So when you pair up, F prime, and twist the orange yellow piece so it's on the side. So when you undo the F, it's at the top, and they pair up when you slice back. So yeah, that's sliced up now, or paired up, I'm an idiot. And say this happens, you're pairing up, 
and the piece that you always slice in and out with is solved now. I just look for the second semi pair that got solved right here and do um, a Z2. So then I can just start using that one now. So green, black. So I look on the side for green or black. I already saw that was green, orange. So I see a black here. I look to see if that's green. No. So then I look to the other side. I see black. Black, green, right there. So the green's on top. The green's already on top here. So you just have to do a U to get them lined up. And the next when you slice up is going to be red, black. I look to the side for reddish or black. There's red, yellow, not it. I look to the other side and I see red, black. And red's at the back. That rhymed. Red's at the back, so since it's already on the top, when it's on the back, you don't have to do F set moves, just put it to the top. So tear them up and replace this pair with the red black over here. And slice back. And those get paired with the pair that was just paired over here. So again, you look for the next pair, orange blue. Look on the side for it. There's orange blue. And orange is on front, so you get orange on top. It's on the side, so you do F set up. Orange blue's on top, and before you can pair them up again. Yellow red. I look at the sides, yellow yellow red back there. So I know when I slice up, the yellow red ends up back here. So I do the set moves to replace it, so it ends up at top, and slice back to pair that again. So you keep pairing basically just two at a time over and over. So orange, green. Look at the side for there's orange green down there. Put it to the top, so orange is on top because orange is on front. And then before you slice again, look at the pieces beside it, yellow, green. Look at the side, there's no yellow or green out on the side there, besides the center, but yeah. So you look on the side and yellow green's over here, the last yellow green piece. So when you slice up, you do the set moves so that the last remaining edge piece is at the right where you slice back, so then it pairs up. And you did two at a time again, you keep doing it blue, red, look at the side for blue, red. Blue, red's up there, so you just twist it in. Blue orange is the piece next to it, so you look at the side. I'd look at the side for blue orange. No blue orange over there. Blue orange. You put it down to the bottom, so when you slice and pair up, you do an F setup to bring this last edge piece to the top and slice back. Red blue, you see the last red blue over here, so you put it up top. Black red, look at the side, see this black red, so you pair up, put it to the side, replace it with this. Slice back, so black red's paired. Blue, <coughs> yellow blue. You see yellow blue on the side. And remember, you saw yellow on the front, so you want to make do the setup so yellow of yellow blue is on the top. Next is yellow orange. You look at the side for yellow or orange. Yellow orange up here. I actually don't see it yet. Ah, oh, that's why. All right. So if you have a case where you're about to slice, and the next um, pair you're gonna do with it is the one that solved the semi pair that you're keeping down here the whole time. What I would do is just pair one pair so you get a new edge. So basically just use any empty edge you can. So slice that up to pair that one and then just replace with the empty edge. So you just pair one so you can quickly get that one edge out of the way and you start using a different edge. Blue, black. I look at the side for blue or black. Not here. <clears throat> it's at the back. That's hard to notice so practice seeing that. So you put it to the front, so when you slice up, blue black fills in that last piece, and blue yellow, you look at the side for blue or yellow, don't see it, there's blue yellow right there, you put it to the bottom, so when you slice up, then that's beside you, so you can replace that, blue yellow fixes it again, you look back down to your DFR piece like you've been doing the whole time, red green, look at the, at the back, it's at the bottom back, red green. Remember, those ones are the hardest to see there at the back. But you put it to the top, so the remaining edge is at the top right again, because you keep slicing with the right. All right, so red green. Next will be black green. You look, you see black green. You do it. Set up the beam to bring black, black green blue. And you slice back. <coughs> green orange. Look to the side for green or orange. You see it's at the back. Put it to the top. And the next is yellow orange. But yellow orange is your buffer, and those are the only two edges left that have a middle edge not complete or outer edge, whatever. So you just do the final pair dialog, which I am hoping you know. And it solves those last two, and they're all done. So you keep pairing two at a time, slice up, set it move, slice back, 
I look at the sides for the colors I'm looking for, for look ahead, and sometimes they're at the back, but it's hard to know. You look to the side and scan for the colors you want. Hope that helped. If not, ask me.